President Trump could be the first U.S. president impeached twice following the riots at the Capitol building. And the United States now surpassing over 22 million confirmed cases of COVID-19. We spoke to local business owners about some local NFL teams making it to the playoffs. Find out what they have to say about what this means for revenue and community morale. In high definition from your news leader, this is Jet 44 Action News at 11. New at 11, President Trump could be the first U.S. president impeached twice. ABC's Faith Abube reports Democrats have drafted one article of impeachment but may wait to send that article to the Senate until after President-elect Joe Biden's first 100 days in office. With just 10 days left in office, President Trump is facing a second impeachment. You'll never take back our country with weakness. You have to show strength and you have to be strong. House Democrats drawing up one article of impeachment, accusing the president of, quote, willfully inciting violence against the government. But they could delay sending it to the Senate for trial. Let's give President-elect uh, Biden uh, the 100 days he needs to get his agenda off uh, and running. And maybe... We'll send uh, the articles uh, sometimes after that. More than 200 Democrats support impeachment. Some saying one priority is to prevent Donald Trump from ever holding office again. So if we allow insurrection against the United States with impunity, with no accountability, we are inviting it to happen again. But a group of several Republican lawmakers and other allies were asking President-elect Joe Biden to put a stop to any efforts to impeach the president, saying it is, quote, as unnecessary as it is inflammatory. Tell them, stand down. This will destroy the country even further. You have the power to do that. The question is, do you have the courage to do it? According to an ABC News Ipsos poll, two-thirds of Americans say President Trump shoulders much of the blame for Wednesday's Capitol riot. 56% believe he should be removed from office, while 43% say he should not. But Republican Congressman Adam Kissinger believes impeachment victimizes President Trump. I think the best thing Thing would for the country to heal would be for him to resign. The next best thing is the 25th Amendment. Senator Pat Toomey joining fellow Republican Senator Lisa Murkowski in calling for the president's resignation. I think at this point, with just a few days left, it's um, the best path forward, the best way to get this person in the rearview mirror uh, for us. Uh, that could happen immediately. Faith Abube, ABC News, Washington, D.C. A funeral procession was held in Washington, D.C. on Sunday afternoon to honor slain Capitol Police Officer Brian Sicknick. Officer Sicknick died Thursday due to injuries sustained while on duty, physically engaging with protesters at the U.S. Capitol. Sicknick returned to his division office and collapsed. That's what the official report said. He was taken to a hospital where he later died. The cases of coronavirus continuing to rise across the country. The need to get people vaccinated is growing more urgent. ABC's Zoring Shah reports President-elect Joe Biden has says he wants to distribute all available vaccines immediately to the states. The U.S. surpassing more than 22 million confirmed cases of the coronavirus, more than 373,000 lives lost. Minnesota now the ninth state to confirm cases of that highly contagious U.K. strain of the virus. The push to get vaccines into people's arms growing more critical. President-elect Joe Biden saying he will release nearly all the available vaccine doses rather than hold back millions to ensure second doses are available. We've got to start getting these vaccines out to states. We're in the middle of of a horrible surge. That variant that was mentioned is, is probably in, in every state or most states in the country. Uh, we've got to get people vaccinated quickly. Arizona now with the world's highest infection rate per capita. State Farm Stadium will become a 24-hour vaccine site beginning Monday. It will just be on a first come, first serve by appointment basis. The senior living facility in Wisconsin turning vaccinations into a party. I'll have a vodka martini, by the way. Our nursing home residents have endured 10 months of not being able to see their families and this is just the first step towards changing that. New York City opening five vaccination centers. By the end of the week, the city plans to have 160 locations open. Cases continue to surge in California. The state deploying 88 refrigerator trucks to use as makeshift morgues, mostly in hard-hit Los Angeles County. I've been here 21 years and I've seen more people pass away in the past week in the past couple weeks, really, then I almost like it combined in all of my career as a nurse. 
The National Guard now in L.A. to assist staff over at crowded hospitals. The most striking for me was just how crowded it was uh, coming to the hospital. The feeling of chaos walking in, uh, controlled chaos. But at the same time, it felt like things were somewhat unstable, at, almost at the breaking point. Soreen Shah, ABC News, Los Angeles. Over 100 people in Pennsylvania died of COVID-19 in the past 24 hours. Here are the latest COVID-19 numbers for our region and across the state. The State Department of Health reporting 149 new positive cases in Erie County. The total number since March now stands at over 13,000. Crawford County, 59 new cases reported. Warren County, up four new cases. Ashtabula County, rising by 37. Across the Commonwealth, an additional 7,506 cases were reported on Sunday, with a total at over 720,000. 103 more people have died, bringing the total to 17,770. A former Erie auto dealer who served time behind bars on fraud charges wants his scheduled supervision to end early. Adam Weaver does not want the public to know why he wants out early, according to reporting in the Erie Times News. His supervised release is scheduled to end this September. His lawyers filed a motion to have the reason why the request was made sealed and kept private. This request is opposed by U.S. Attorney's Office in Erie. Senior U.S. District Judge David S. Sircone has scheduled a virtual hearing for February 2nd to review the SEAL request. In 2017, Weaver pled guilty to one count of conspiracy to commit wire fraud. The scheme involved his family business, Rick Weaver, Buick GMC. In April of 2018, Adam Weaver was sentenced to four months in federal prison followed by six months of home detention and then three years of supervised release. Well, some local businesses are seeing the impact and dollar signs of the Bills, Browns, and Steelers making it to the playoffs. Chelsea Swift had a chance to speak to some business owners and fans excited about tonight's big game. A Pittsburgh Steelers fan doing some shopping at the Mill Creek Mall. He says he couldn't find any Steelers gear in his area. I came all the way from Cleveland because I could barely find Pittsburgh Steelers stuff down in that area. So I came all the way from Cleveland, Ohio to get me some stuff from my house. Some Browns fans doing some shopping say it's exciting to buy gear and support their team in the playoffs after many years of waiting. I think it's just fun now because we are a winning team right now to go and support and buy and it's just a good time right now. Support the small the small businesses are, are it's very important. It really is. I came in to see if I can get something new. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Bowers, the owner of a local sporting goods store, Sports Obsession, says with all three teams in the playoffs, the Bills, the Browns, and the Steelers, jerseys have been hard to keep on the shelves. Browns have been flying off the shelves, and we just got more in, so it's a good news. But it's the hardest to keep inventory in for the first time ever. We were running out of stuff. The owner of one local sports bar and restaurant says he's waited over 15 years to see these three local teams make it to the playoffs. I've actually been waiting 16 years for this to have three local teams in. I, mean, I always said that'd be the best football season for business. Myotis adding he's thankful restaurants were able to reopen before the NFL playoffs. Um, Buffalo Bills yesterday, there was, you know, tons of fans out, and I'm expecting a big night tonight with the, the Pittsburgh Cleveland game. Chelsea Swift, Jet 24 Action News. And we'll have much more on this big game later in the show when Mike Fenner joins us with sports. Coming up after the break, a scary scene as a car slams into a house causing some really serious damage overnight. And that's after a first look at the forecast. Mr. Flint. Wrapping up a nice weekend, Brian, and I don't think it's going to be too bad as we go through the first half of the week. We do have some changes, though, the complete forecast.